The assignment tool is a handiwork collection and assessment tool. Think of it like an electronic basket that students can turn work into. It also allows you to efficiently grade items and give feedback to your students. To create an assignment, enter the folder in your course where you want the assignment to be located and use the Add Materials button. Select Add Assignment. Enter a name for your assignment and in the description box, enter any directions pertaining to the assignment. I have a specific template document that I want students to use for this activity, so I will hyperlink it here by switching to my Google Doc, copying its link, then I'll come back to Schoology, highlight my text, and use that chain link icon on the toolbar to insert a link to my document. Additional options beneath my description box let me attach or upload files from my computer. Again, I can link items, but I usually prefer to do that up in the description area itself. I can add something from my Schoology resources, or I can record a message for my students to listen to. Set a due date if you want your assignment to appear in the course calendar and upcoming reminder feed for the students in your class, and enter points possible for the assignment. If you want the grading results of this assignment to appear in your gradebook and in students' grades, you must select a category other than ungraded. If you'd rather use a rubric to assess this assignment, you can create one or attach one if it's already made. I don't have a rubric for this particular assignment, but I do have one for students' final consumer product reviews, so let me choose that just so that I can show you how rubrics can really streamline your grading. Before we look at this assignment from a student's view, let's explore the advanced options. The first option allows me to individually assign this assignment to individual students or a group that I have created previously in my Members tab. If I leave it blank or remove names I've already entered, the assignment will default to being visible by my entire class. The target icon lets me align this assignment to a learning objective, and the lock lets me close the assignment to new submissions on a certain date. So if I want to prevent students from turning in work after the due date, I can lock this assignment. This is different from the visible to students icon here, which simply controls whether or not a student can see the assignment. By default, assignments adopt the properties of the folders they are located in. If a folder is visible, the assignment will default to being visible and vice versa. Locking an assignment still keeps it visible. Students can see what they turned in and the feedback that has been provided for them. But if I change the visibility to hidden, the assignment will disappear completely from student view. The default for new assignments is that they allow students to make electronic submissions. Students can upload assignment files, turn in files from their Google Docs, or type new submissions in a Dropbox-like area. If there is no need for me to collect an electronic submission from students, I can turn off this feature. If I enable grade statistics, this means students will be able to see how they did compared to a class average. And this icon means my assignment will come with a comments box. I think this comments box is really confusing for students, so I nearly always turn it off. I will leave it on so you can see why I think it's confusing. And this last icon lets me copy my assignment to other courses if I teach the same class more than once per day. Let me click Create to see how this looks. This icon in my folder outline view lets both me and my students know that this is an assignment. When I click on it, it brings up assignment details, and I can edit using this gear icon if I need to. Now let me switch to a student's view. The student's view is pretty much the same as the teacher's view, minus that gear icon to edit. And students have a submit assignment button over here. Here's that comment box I mentioned earlier. This is designed as an area for students to ask the teacher and other students questions about the assignment but more often than not, I've had students try to type in and submit their work here. To avoid that, I simply remove this comment box when creating new assignments. When a student is ready to turn in work, they simply choose the Submit Assignment button. When a student submits an assignment, they have several options. First, they can upload a file from their computer, or they can use the Create tab to bring up a rich text editor to compose their response in, and the third choice is the Resources tab, which allows them to attach files from their Schoology resources or even from their Google Docs account once they have linked their accounts or added Google as an app. When submitting an item from Google Docs, Schoology imports a snapshot of that file's current content. 
The student does not need to share the original Google Doc with the teacher. Schoology is importing a copy of it. Students can verify that they have successfully turned in their work and whether or not it was on time, and they have an option to resubmit the assignment. Now let's look at how a teacher grades these assignments. So it's back to my normal teacher view. From a course homepage, you will see notes in your reminders feed indicating that you have assignment submissions that need grading. You can click the links that are provided right here to be taken to the appropriate assignments page, or you could go there the normal way by clicking into the folder and locating the assignment there. While I'm here, I'm going to quickly edit my assignment and turn off that comment box. From my assignment page, I can see which students have made submissions and whether their assignment was submitted on time according to that due date that I set. I can also filter this column by received, needs grading, on time, late, graded, and not submitted. If you prefer to grade offline, you can use the green download button to download all of the assignment submissions in a bulk zip file. Clicking on a student's name will bring up the document viewer. The document viewer allows you to view student work and grade it. You can give comments to students through the conversation area located to the right of each student submission. This comment area is only available for view between you and this particular student. You can also use the file link on the lower left of the comment box to upload a file such as suggested revisions to the assignment, or you can use the microphone to record verbal feedback to the student. To do this, choose a microphone and select audio. When you choose the red record button, you'll be prompted to grant permission for the system to access your microphone. Chrome may also ask you to allow this action by giving you a little message at the top of your browser. Your recording will begin after you start talking and you have up to three minutes to record your response. When you're done, you can preview the recording if you like. Your recording will begin after you start talking and you have up to three minutes to record your response. And when you're happy with it, just choose attach. Your bandwidth can really affect the quality of these recordings. So if you have limited bandwidth, you may notice choppiness in your recordings or recordings that are cut off. This document viewer also has annotation tools that you can use to make your comments right on this copy of the student's work. The student's original copy is not altered in any way, but the students will see your comments and annotations on this document viewer copy when they view their assignment feedback. It's very easy to forget to save annotations, so make sure you click the blue Save Changes button when you're done. I can input a raw score here, or since I attached a rubric to this assignment, clicking here will instead bring up my rubric. As I choose the appropriate indicator, Schoology is tallying up the student score for me, and of course I can leave specific comments by each criteria. The grade I input here will automatically sync with Gradebook, and you can make additional grading comments here that are only viewable by you if you choose, or you can allow students to view them as well. When you're done grading the current submission, you can use this arrow to quickly move to the next one. Another grading option is to grade student assignments using the Edit Grades icon located above the Dropbox. This will bring up a window with all of your students' names. The comments and grades you enter here will also automatically sync with the gradebook. But you do not have a document viewer here, just a field for grades and comments. However, if you downloaded student work in a zip file, graded offline, and want to quickly add grades and comments for the whole class, this is a fast way to do so. If you've been wanting to go paperless or simply use less paper, the Schoology Assignment tool can assist you in managing that electronic work collection.